simple revision. So this is actually 2019. Okay. 2019. So let me write here. So 2019. I think it's last semester S1. Okay, S1. Okay. So MST. So a simple question. So this is question 1B. How do you integrate this one? So a simple equation. First of all, how do you integrate e power a x plus? Okay, integrate e power a x. is a one over a e power a x or so. Okay, so basically, this is if you ignore the limit first. This is actually five can take out first. Then you get e power negative three x minus two. And one over the negative power here. This is actually five times e power minus three x plus two. So using the formula you have this equal to 5 e power minus 3x plus 2 then divided by minus 3. Okay, so where can you find this formula? This is about integration. Okay, integration of uh, exponential function. So usually you can find this uh, for formula is in the formula actually in the book is on page uh, 25. Okay. Page 25. So integration of e of ax plus b is actually 1 over a e power ax plus b plus c. Okay. So this is the formula we use. So now you put in the limit, okay, from minus one to one. So that means that I want to find the limit here from minus one to one. Okay, minus one to one. So okay, get rid of C here from x equal to minus one to one. So you put in x equal to one first. So you get 5 power over minus 3 e power x equal to 1 and minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1. Okay, and subtract e equal to minus, x equal to minus 1 now. So e power minus 3 times minus 1 is 3. Okay, minus 3 minus 1 is 3. 3 plus 2 is 5. So this actually 5 over 3 e power 5 minus 5 over 3 e power minus 1. So you press calculator. So 5 over 3 E power 5 will be a big number there. Shift. Okay, so times that. Sorry. And times, times E power 5. Okay, minus 5 over 3 E power minus 1. So 5 over 3. Divided by E here. Okay, so you get two four six point seven four. 
Yes, so this two four six or seven four nine, two four six point seven four. Okay, so you want to check the answer and go back to the one. Okay, open up the answer. One nine two zero H one. The answer. Okay, I did the ones two four six point seven four. The answer. Okay, correct. So this is how you do question 1B. Okay, as simple like that. Have your device. So this one question. Okay, I will look at another question. Okay. In this one. Okay, so now let's try another question on root mean square. Okay, root mean square. So this is root mean square now. One C. Okay, no square. Okay, nine two zero S one question one C. So where do you find information on root mean square? So root mean square is actually when you do the substitution, okay. This substitution. So this is chapter three. We start doing substitution. Okay, let me separate it now. Hmm. So I think it's chapter two. I think it's chapter two. Yeah, chapter two, right? So let me square by formula in chapter two. Page two eight here. Okay, page two eight here. Root mean square value, which is also in the formula card. Formula card has this root mean square value formula. So what I'm trying to find is root mean square value of y. So what is this root mean square value? The formula is this y rms is equal to Square root of one over b minus a from a to b and y square t t. Okay, this is how you find the root mean square value of this. So in this case, the a is equal to one, b equal to three. Okay, so what you want in the, is the middle is 1 over b minus a first, b is 3, a is 1, so this is 1 to 3, the y square, y is 1 over square root 3t plus 1, then you square it, right? Okay, this is actually the mean of y square, and basically this is called the mean of y square, okay? mean of y squared. So let's look at what this thing now is so 1 over 2, 1 to 3. So when you square it, it becomes 1 over 3t plus 1. So how do you integrate 1 over 3t plus 1? Of course, ln. Okay, what is the formula for ln here? Sometimes people will forget, right? So I just write down the formula so they remind you myself. Okay, so you know that integration of one over a x plus b dx is y. Okay, this is actually equal to ln a x plus b then divided by a. Okay, this is the formula for 
plan something one over here uh, plus QR. So you can find this in formula phase two four. Page two four. Okay. Page two four. Then you have to know why. Okay, this is common common mistake. People forgot to divide by three. So this is equal to one over two. Then one over three plus three t plus one. Then t from one to three. Okay, so the A, don't forget this. This is A here, this is A here. Okay, so then you put in the calculator now. So it's 1 over 6 plus. So put 3 equal 3, you get 10. 3 times 3 plus 1 is 10. Minus 1 over 6. Put t equal to 1. 3 times 1 plus 1 is 4. So the best calculator. Okay, long. Okay, so you need our uh, 1 over 6 times long 10. So basically, you need to find out what is long 10 first. Okay, long 10. Long 10 minus long 4. Okay, then divide by 6. 0 by 1, 5, 2, 7. Okay, so this is 0 by 1, 5, 2, 7. I want to find the IMS to take a square root, right? So take a square root now of this number. Y RMS is just take the square root of this thing. So load by 1527. So you get take a square root of this thing. So square root of this answer. 0.391. Okay, this is our next value. And then you can check the answer. Let's check answer here. Question 1. Uh, okay, 0 0.39 here, yeah, correct? Okay, this is question one C. So I show you two examples in this case. Okay, first example is a direct integration. Right? Okay, direct integration. And this one also application to RS. So I must know why it's meaning RS here. Okay, so let's maybe this is a question, a question early. Let's try to do another question. Okay, so I do some question. Let's try a method of substitution. Okay, maybe. Maybe 2B, right? 2B is a better solution. 2B now. Okay, insert the page here. Maybe any more space. So 2B. They even give you a hint how to substitute. So this one is not very difficult. They give you a hint, I believe. 
So this question to be. So then we have you substitution, so that to it substitution, right? So let you we go to one plus e x here. So d u d x is what? D u d x differentiate one against zero, differentiate e x okay, e x, okay, this differentiation formula. So d u is equal to e x d x. now so how do you integrate this one without limit first okay consider this one what is e to x now so you look at this one so integrate so your e u is the one plus e x right so what is actually the problem there okay you want to arrange them so that your dx is du over ex. So let's look at integral. This is tricky. A lot of things involved there. The square root of two x here. Then one plus ex dx. Okay. First thing you must understand what is e two x look like. E two x are huh? Basically, it's e x squared. Okay, e to x and e x squared, then e to x. So this thing is actually square root of e x squared one plus e x. Okay, so this is actually this one. So if you do that, so you, you if you take a square root of uh, ex squared, right? Of course you get ex, right? So this thing ex here, then the square root of one plus ex dx. Okay, e2x is ex squared. Then everything becomes nice because a lot of cancellation. So what is actually u here? U is one plus e x here. So the whole integral here, okay. I go back to the average here. E x here, one plus e x, e x. Your u is one plus e x. And then your d x is d u over e x here. So this integral becomes e x here, square root of u, now, u is one by dx, right? So this is actually square root of u here. And dx du over e x here. Which is very good now. The cancel. So this is actually integration of square root of u, du. Which in terms is equal to u power half Okay, so this is how you simplify the expression. And then you have to find out where's the limit of u now. Okay, go back and find the limit of u. So this limit is from 0 to 1. Okay, 0 to 1. So let's find out where's the when x equals zero, u is one plus e x. Okay, your x is zero now. Okay, u is one plus e x here. So e power zero is one. Okay, x equals zero. E power zero one, so u is equal to two now. 
คิดอย่างว่าเพิ่มไว้ x ก็ตูบวันแต่ u is equal to one plus e power one this one by e lah so you go one plus e so after you convert this this is actually u is actually from two to one plus e okay so this how you convert the limit here yeah? two to one plus e Right, so this is actually two to one plus e. Yeah? So integrate this using a power rule. So this actually becomes u power half plus one is three over two now divided by three over two. Okay, then two to one plus e. So simplify this first. Two over three. Here we have three over two. Two to one plus e. So put one plus e inside there. The two third. One plus e. Three over two. Minus two third. Two power three over two. Okay, then you press calculator and see what this look like. So, do third first. Do third times one plus e e first. That's why I need the e uh, exponential. Okay. One e means e power one, okay. So e one plus e first, then power three over two. Power three divided by two. Okay, minus two third. Into the yeah. times two power three over two. So must be very careful. Press the operator. Okay, three over two. Okay, so let's see what I get now. Okay, two point nine nine four three. So actually, two point nine nine four three. Okay, let me check the answer. Two point nine four three. This answer is a okay. Two point. I think what do we get? This question two B right? Okay. So this is actually question two B. Okay, question two B. How come I get different answer? I get two point nine nine. Okay, let's check again. Huh? The answer sheet get two point eight nine. So anyone spot any mistake or not? So when x equal to 0, u equal to 2. When x equal to 1, okay, 1 plus e. Two, 3, 1 plus e. So, check out with the again, how can I call the button, sir? Uh,
two third one plus e three over two. Let me try this one. Why my answer different? Start different. Minus two third of two power three over two. Okay, uh, 2.89, then I don't know why I put that code. That's how I get 2.99. So 2.89, correct? Okay, 2.89. Okay, 2.89. I will press calculator carefully. 2.89. So this question to be. So question to be. What is the difficulty? Basically, you must recognize that e power 2x is actually ex squared, right? ex squared, then you can get the answer. This question 2b, and then you can see a lot of cancellation after, after substitution. Okay, so this is question 2b. Then I go to another question. Let's say give you another question. Okay, let's try another question. Okay, I try one question of RMS, one question of substitution uh, only. I think this uh, there is usually a one easy question. Maybe one harder question, I'm not sure, because the promise is this will be all easy question. Right. All right, let's say another question now. This one is another hard question, okay? A question by part. How to do this? 3B. Okay, 3B. So this is question 3B now. How to do this by part? Okay. Question 3B by part. The other tell you this by part. So you must use by part now. So how do you use by part? So you have follow by part formula, right? You should get L I A T E. Start with this. So you have L log first. So log always come first. And then A. 3x minus 1. So you follow the method. Generally, we just follow the table method or do usually. Okay, so you let u equal to long 3x minus 1. So u, in this case, is long 3x minus 1. dv is 3x minus 1. So then, u will differentiate. V and equate. Oh, this is the tricky part. So differentiate, what do you get? Long 3 minus 1. So you differentiate in as you can change rule, right? So long 3 minus 1, you should get 1 over 3 minus 1. And then differentiate 3 minus 1. Okay? 3 minus 1, you get 3 again. So this is using chain rule, right? Chain rule. Then how you integrate 3x minus 1? Of course, you can say uh, integrate 3x, 3x squared over 2, integrate x1, and get x, right? But I have, I have a better idea. I want to see a lot of cancellation. I say integrate this one, you should get 3x minus 1 
square divided by two, then divided by three. Okay, because I notice a lot of cancellation. Where it is formula come from? Okay, the formula come from this integration of a x plus b n is equal to a x plus b power m plus one divided by m plus one times a. Okay, where do you get this formula from? I think this formula is from chapter two. Okay. Yeah, chapter two. Uh, page two three. Page two three of chapter two. Okay. Page two three seven two. Yeah. Okay. This this is where three come from. So you have this uh, three here. But there are three, right? Okay. And this is better than integrate term by term. Integrate term by term, you don't get cancellation. But this one, you do this way, you cancellation. Okay, then you draw downward arrow, positive, then parallel arrow now, negative. Okay, parallel is op the sign always alternate. So when you, when you do the horizontal arrow, you have the integration product here, product integration. Okay, put that integration when you do this. So what does it mean? So you can write out the answer now. This is equal to let's highlight this one. So this one together with this one put with my plus sign. So all together is this term is 1 over 6 here, then 3x minus 1 square times ln of 3x minus 1. So first term, okay, then second term, okay, let's try second term, i use a blue color one. Second term this one to get a three uh, and this one and the minus sign. So second term is actually minus sign, then product of three over three x minus one times three x minus one square over 6 dx okay product and integrate so take two soon two together product and integrate huh? then can simplify so how to simplify this one so 3x minus 1 square ln 3x minus 1 okay then you can find that a lot of cancellation first of all 3 and 6 cancel get 2. And then 3 minus 1 together cancel 3 minus 1 get 1. Power 1 now. So this actually simplify 2 minus half okay, of integration of 3x minus 1. Okay, how integrate 3x minus 1? You can use a same formula as before, okay. Same formula as this one, using this one, so that it, it saves you a lot 
rather than integrate term term by term. You don't integrate term by term, right? Just okay. Integrate this one is one over six three x minus one square long three x minus one minus half three x minus one square over two and then divide by three. Okay, let's see. Okay, remember this it's the same answer we had before. So this will give you one over six three x minus one square long three x minus one minus uh, four um, two times three is six uh, minus twelve. Now this is minus twelve. 3x minus 1 square plus c. So this is how to do question 3b. Okay, I think this question, I can WhatsApp this to you. Question 3b. So you follow LYATE to get your U and DB. And the problem is how do you integrate 3x minus 1? Okay? And you forgot to how to differentiate side plot 3x minus 1. Okay? People often forget. Okay? The integration of 3x minus 1, if you in integrate term by term, is 3x squared over 2 minus x. Right? But you want to do that, just apply the formula of this straight away, then you get law of cancellation. Okay, otherwise, you cannot get cancellation as you wish. It's okay, easier to get cancellation this way. Right? So this is question 3b, the part. See any comment? Any message for me? No. Okay, so I think people in the class now. Team any basic people. So no, no missing people. Okay, so this is actually question 3b, right? So how to do integration by part this way? Okay, I think this one is considered harder than usual because of integration involved. Okay, then let's look at another question. I want to try out Simpson's rule. I think maybe a Simpson rule can, can get this one. So by part I try already. Simpson I try already. Okay, partial fraction I leave it to you. Partial fraction and completing a square. Oh, completing a square, there are some hard questions. Maybe I do it at last. So I think there is a Simpson rule. Okay. Open the social notation. This normally does the social notation. Okay, this year, no Simpson rule question. Okay, but usually there should be one Simpson rule question to test you whether you learn Simpson rule or not. So I will just pick one year of the assumption rule there to show you, right? So instead of this paper, I'm going to pick another year paper here. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so one one nine is the zero. Show the system zero there. Okay, okay, I'm picking the zero question. Should be hard. Zero question somewhere. Yeah, okay. I'll try this one. One one nine. Okay, so I go pick by one line. Insert. This is a question on session rule. Y one line. Semester two. Okay. One eight one nine. So the question come from one eight one nine. S2, my Y19 S2. Okay, fine. Y19 S2. Okay, this is a question for my Y19 S2. And the question C is actually a question 6. Okay, use a Samsung rule with 6 interval. I find the opposite value. Correct to three, that's not please. Wow, so this is crazy. Uh, one thing you find for sure is this n must be even number. For sense of rule, right? This n must be even. If you find that odd number, something is wrong in the question. Okay, this number must be even. Okay, what else? Oh, there is a trigger function there. So make sure that use radial mode. Okay. Anyway, if you don't know whether you use degree mode or radial mode in engineering, you always use radial mode. Whether the question got trigger or not, if you use radial mode, you always come back. Okay. Then, how many decimal places? It's spelled out to you. Three decimal places. So what does it mean? It means that when you do calculation, okay, calculation need three decimal places plus two. Okay, three decimal places are given to you. You must put another two decimal places. In the calculation, these people watching how you do Simpson rule, no? you only pass two decimal place, okay, calculation, right? Then finally, then round up or then round up to you, okay, round to nearest two decimal, three decimal place in final answer. Okay, this is how people judge how good you perform system control. Okay, these are things people look for or not. You see whether you got do you use right mode or not. Okay, if you don't use right mode, I think all the table is wrong already. And then they finally they ask you check whether how many test surface you work to get answer. Okay, of course M must be even in this case for system control. So from here, you can see that A is equal to zero, A equal to zero, B equal to power three. So what is the Simpson rule H there, step size? H here is B minus A over N, step size. Huh? The formula Simpson rule, you can refer to the formula card or inside the, the notes we have there. B minus A over N, so actually pi over three, Minus zero over six 
So you will find that this is pi over 18. Okay, this is the issue. So what does it mean? Okay, this means that you have set a table. Be careful now. I think I need a bigger table because number of decimal place is a lot now. So you have x here and y here. So starting from zero, okay, a is low here, so x low. Then you get x1, so start every time increase by pi over 18. Then increase the pi over 18 again, get 2 pi over 18 now. Then another pi over 18, 3 pi over 18. Another pi over 18, 4 pi over 18. Another pi over 18, 5 pi over 18. Then finally, the last one is 6 pi over 18. 6 pi over 18 is actually pi over 3, the last one. This is your x6 now. Okay, so this will be the value of x1, this is x2. Okay, you continue with the final last one, x6. The number must tell you. Six point, okay, so six intervals. Then you find a y here. Y is ln x1. So y is actually ln second x. What is second x here? Second x is actually one over cosine x. Okay, one over cosine x. So Make sure you calculate it in value mode first. Then you find out what happened to this. So I'm going to use a calculator to find out one by one. Okay, and then write down the answer. So I want to get yeah, table and calculator. Okay, this is actually log of one over. Okay, log of one over. Cosine x here. Okay, second x is one of cosine x here. So you must know that. Okay, alpha. X. Close. Okay, one over cosine x here. Then, okay. G here. Okay. So, starting from zero. So pi over three, okay? pi over three, so shift pi divided by three. The step size is pi over 18, so you put a shift pi over 18 here. Okay, so let's count the value here. So the first value, is zero. Okay, when pi uh, cosine zero, the cosine zero is one. Long one is zero. Okay, right, right. The second value is wow. How can it be? It's a very very small number. No? Wow. Okay, let me see. Place. Engineering. Okay, so this one actually is very, okay, very small number. Okay. Four point six three nine. Don't need that. Times 10 power minus 6. So, what does it mean? Okay, 4 times 639, I don't want the scientific notation. We very miss a bit. 
okay where we, where we are Link. So I find that this question very hard. Okay, let's see this one. This is 1.8 by 58 times 10 power minus 5. Okay, this number is 4.17 by 5. 10 power minus 1 again. Okay, this is 7.4 235 times 10 power minus 1 again. Okay, this 1.1 5 9 10 power minus 4. So I mean, oh yeah. Okay, last one. This space here. Okay, one by six seven. Three. Three decimal place. Mm. Okay, three decimal place. Let me. Three decimal place. So four point six three nine ten point six. What does it mean? Okay, four point six three nine times ten power minus six. Basically, is four point six three nine times ten power six. Huh? So, let's divide ten power six. Huh? So, up to two thousand, please. So I'm going to put the calculator and I use Okay, 4.639 divided by 10 powers, 6 here So I need five thousand space huh? and do okay. Five thousand space. Ah, not enough. Five thousand space, huh? not enough. So the number I put down four point six three nine. So actually I need more than some place. Anyway, should be a lot. So maybe you can try out this one. Okay, I just take the number as they are. Okay, so otherwise, very very troublesome. So I take the number as they are, and then put in a calculator. Okay, I think you have another some place there. I said that I should have more. There's no place. I didn't watch that because we see that I need to have a three plus two, but that's some place. Okay, so this is your y zero. This is y one. This is y two. Y three. Y four. Y five. Y six. Okay. So let me go back and recalculate again. I need more than surface to put in. Sorry. So you use the radian You must use radian mode. I think you use degree mode to find. Is it? I use degree mode. Let me check the calculator. Huh? How can I use degree mode? Or oh, just some maybe I do calculation in the other class. That's why I use degree mode. Let me check here. So, anchor unit. I use radio mode, right? Okay. 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 Okay
Okay, let me try again, huh? Yeah, otherwise, uh, very misleading. Okay, that's how I'm supposed to use the radio mode. Okay, thank you very much. So, okay, I'm going to use table. Okay, so I think this could be issue of kind of number so small. Okay, so this is long, a uh, one-hour cost night here. It's so long or one-hour cost night here. So you can work on your own, okay, and then before I come up with answer, okay, whether you cover answer or not. Okay, then G equals zero. So starting from zero and the pi over six, and then pi over eighteen is step size. Okay, yeah, I think you are, you are correct. So just now all these number are. I wonder all these numbers so small and I wonder how the number becomes so small. So be careful, okay, I can also make mistakes like that, then I figure out why can why my answer is wrong. Okay. First number is zero. Second number is zero point zero one by three. What is that? I need five as a base, right? So we'll make sure that I can find another space. So I must go to this one and see. So point zero five three nine. Okay. One five three one. Okay, sorry, this one must be one. So point zero one five three one. Okay, the final surface. Next one, 0 0.06, 2, 2, 0. Then next one, 0 0.1438, 2, 4. Then next one, can we mistake now? Let's see why it's wrong. Mistake somewhere. Let's go back to the cup. The script here. I think it's a little longer. Come on, something wrong with that. Another question again. So we'll start with zero. One by zero. Sixty-two. And this two six six five. Zero point two six six five two. Then Zero point four four one nine four. Then last one zero point six nine three one five. Okay, 
Yeah, five decimal place. So the integral you're looking at now, the integral is actually how do I do it? So fx here, dx, ab here, pin one third of h here. h is pi over 18, so you can put that pi over 18 here. So one third of h, h is pi over 18. Then inside there, the y0 plus y6. And that's my third. Remember this one? So y0 and y6 add together. y0 and y6 add together. Then plus four times of y1, y3, y5. So the, all the odd position y add together. So you get this one. Oh, position y, y1, y3, y5. Then plus two times the even position y, y2 and y4. So this will give you y2, y4. Okay, and then let me get answer. Uh, actually, simple so is considered quite easy if you're careful enough. Okay, quite easy to get mark. So I will just I'm not going to find an answer for you. I think you check answer first. So answer in the, this one. Okay, is this one? Answer one a one nine s two right? One a one nine s two answer. Okay, it's the same thing with question six. Is equal to zero point two one eight. Okay, zero point two one eight. So we can after the answer whether you get zero point two one eight up to three decimal place. Okay, out of three decimal, accurate to three, three decimal place. So that two one eight. Okay, so I think this is uh, some of the key uh, you can take away. First, is number of decimal place. The given question must add two in the calculation. Okay, of course, then in the calculator, you must make sure that you remove all sources. So first, the first mistake is I didn't check my calculator. I thought it's already with demo. But actually, in the earlier class, I need to use the remote to check my answer. So this is why we will sit there. And then, uh, okay, n must equal to 6, right? It's an even number. So let's see, I can do the last question for you. Okay, as a revision. So I'm going to go back to the another question. I'm not sure whether I should do this. I don't, know. I don't want to do a too difficult question. So let me try first. I'll make sure that I do something some, some, something easy and simple. And then for you to start. And then the question usually Usually, it's actually, uh, uh, let me see what this one. So, I'm not going to put you do that. It's computing a square. I think it's a good question. Let's try one computing a square. Let me stop. Okay. One computing a square is uh, S1. One nine two zero S one. 
in this is uh, five. Oh no, it's four C. Okay, four C. First, ask you to copy the square. Then, after the five integral. So how do you compute the square? Okay, if you've forgotten to compute the square formula, you can look at under partial fraction in the chapter, chapter 4. Okay, partial fraction, chapter 4, completing the square. So this will give you the completing the square formula. Okay. So they even tell you the completing the square. Also, this is how I think the question how easy they are, so you don't need to guess what is the method you're supposed to use. So, completing the square is actually x square plus k axis, x square plus kx here is equal to x plus k over 2 square minus k over 2 square, this is completing the square. Okay, this one is on page 4, 5. And notes. So you can start from x square plus 2x plus y. So x square plus 2x plus y equal to x plus, so you just focus on this part first. Okay, k is 2 now. So they divide by 2 here. 2 over 2. Okay, your k is 2 now, so it's 2 over 2 now. Then minus 2 over 2 square. This is the part completing the square. Then you add a 5 behold, behind. So this is actually x plus 1 square minus 1 plus 5. So it's x plus 1 square plus 4, which is 2 squared. Okay, then in the uh, completing the square, find this integral, right? So what is this integral about? Okay, so let's find out. Huh? So in, when you integrate this one, x square plus 2x plus 5. You complete the square first. It's equal to 1 over x plus 1 square plus 2 square. Now, the question is how do you integrate this one? Okay, doesn't mean 1 over, one over something is always long. So, one of the common mistakes students make is oh, when they integrate 1 over x square plus a square. Very often say one over something must be long, right? Answer is no, it's not long. There is no such formula for this one. Okay, it's not long. The correct formula is the one I'm going to write here. This formula like this is actually one over x square plus a square is one over a tangent inverse x over a. Okay, this is one of common mistakes students always make how to integrate this thing. Okay, so this is actually 1 over a 
Okay, so your A is equal to 2 now. Okay, and then your x plus 1 replaced by x now. So basically, you can this x plus 1 replaced by x here. Okay, your A is 2. Okay, this formula on this example, actually in example 6, example 7, also show you how to do this same. So you can see example 6 and example 7 in the notes there. Okay, which you can find the phase 4, 5 there. So this is equal to 1 over 2, first A equal to, then tension inverse. X become X plus 1 now over 2. Okay, so this is actually how you get answer for this part. Okay, so uh, this uh, a, x, okay, your x is actually the same as so a chain now. Okay. So this answer the first part. How about the second part? Hence, 1 over 10 x squared by 28 by 50. So how to do that? Okay. So I got this answer already. Now, move on. I want to find this answer. dx here, 1 over 10 x squared plus 20 x plus 50. How, how is it different from early one? It's actually the same, no? Just pull out 1 over 10 because this basically, basically is 10 x squared plus 2x plus 5. So 1 over 10 took out. You get dx x squared plus 2x plus 5. So this will become 1 over 10 Copy the answer just now. 1 over 2, tangent inverse, x minus 1 over 2, a plus c. So it actually is 1 over 20, tangent inverse, x minus 1 over 2, plus c. Okay. So this is actually question 4B, continue. Okay, so the key thing for question 4B is to make the mistake of integrating. This is not correct, right? So integrating on this is not correct. So the correct formula is right on top there. And this is also in example 6 and 7. Okay, so I guess I can stop now in that question already. So, okay, so let me go back. Let me see any message there. Okay. So today everybody is here. From what I know, everybody is here. So I can stop recording now and then afterward I just send